Trog is the story of Trog, a troglodyte that lives in a cave in the moors, and he's discovered and put into the care of a scientist played by a very old Joan Crawford. And while she's trying to teach him how to be more human, there are like town meetings going on where like the village, local villagers are trying to figure out what to do with Trog. And there's like a big businessman played by Michael Goh who's sort of like down with Trog and doesn't like him. And it all kind of Frankenstein's its way out. Okay, Alex, what did you think of the B-movie Trog? The major issue I had with it, just like evaluating it as a film, is that it didn't really know what it wanted to be. Because on the one hand, you've got like a Frankenstein's monster kind of thing. Yeah. Where it's like, Trog's misjudged, he's actually good, He's just, he can be sensitive and like responsible. And on the other hand, it's like it wants to have this, this monster that goes around murdering people. Yeah. So I think that's a fundamental tension in the film that doesn't really resolve. It yeah, hasn't got like... I don't know Frankenstein that well. Yeah. But... Isn't it one of those things where the people that Frankenstein hurts are people that were trying to hurt him or that Frankenstein perceived as were trying to hurt him? So it's like a self-defense mm, thing? Not necessarily, because there's, there's the the famous the part where he's this little girl and she's throwing flowers into a well or a lake or something. Yeah. And then she's teaching Frankenstein to throw flowers into the lake. Then Frankenstein runs out of flowers and it's like, oh, what else is pretty? And he sees the girl and he throws <laughs> her into the lake. Right. So it's not the only thing. Okay, but... but you can see Frankenstein's logic there, I guess. I Where guess. it's like he gets used to throwing things in the lake and he... But my point is, Trog's not sympathetic. No, Trog murders people. Yeah, Trog just goes around murdering people. Oi! What do you think you're doing? I mean, you could probably make the argument that he's scared because when they first encounter him in the cave... He's probably, he's been in there for a while. He's not encountered people beforehand. There's these invaders in his cave. He's defending his territory. <laughs> mm. It's fine. You know, it makes perfect sense. And then there's, he murders some people later. So well, this is the my... thing, because the people, the people in the cave. Yeah. I can, uh, I'm you can, with you. You can, you can respect that, you know. But like, when, like, Michael Go lets him out. Yeah. And then he's walking through this town and, like, he spots people and goes towards them to kill them. Yeah. Um, well, I suppose, cause he murders a shop owner because um, he's, Trog is stealing fruit, right? Oh, that's true. From the yeah. outside. So he's like, oh, are you? What are you stealing Yeah, he goes for the for? food. I mean, to be fair, Trog didn't have to murder him. He could have just, like, run away or, like, you know, knocked him out. But the Trog was like, fucking kill you. And then he hangs him on a hook. Oh, no, 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 oh, please. No, 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 no. So he is definitely a very violent, murderous trog. Trog. Despite the fact that he is also apparently very intelligent. and He is not very intelligent. Apparently he, he is. He knows there. how to return a ball. He can talk. Could he talk? He was. They had, they had an operation, didn't they? They, they, they give him an operation to, to make him talk. And then you expect there to be like some scene where like he steps up and like I said yeah. it was going to be like Futurama with that monkey. I, mean, I said that maybe he'll start doing philosophy or something. Yeah, like, like he'd yeah, sit he up might. and be like, let me tell you my tale. Yeah, which would have been like a really awesome, actually. But he kind of grunts like one or two words throughout the rest of the movie and that's it. Yeah. He spoke. And... Drog spoke. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Yes. Drog spoke. The problem is, is like, they do a lot of things where like, they're trying to teach him to like, civilise him. Like, this is turquoise, or this is blue, or whatever, and this is red, and I'm going to teach you how to throw a ball and stuff. Yeah. And that stuff's not fun, it's taken too seriously. Yeah. Like, you can have fun with it. Like, he, like hilarious misunderstandings, and like, yeah. he does things wrong, or whatever. Well, you would think but once, just... once they fix his, his vocal cords, that he might, like, look at somebody's dress, you know, and be like... Yeah, they could go for something like that, but they don't do anything with it. Mm. It's just they're trying to make him smart, and then he goes on a murder spree because he gets let it out. It needed more trog on the loose. Yeah, the, there's not much of it at all, is there? Because he, yeah. he gets captured at the start, and then he's in a cage for most of the film, and then it's like the last fifteen minutes or so. He murders yeah. some people and abducts a girl, which we, for some reason, I'm not <sighs> entirely sure why. Yeah, that's uh, that was when trog wasn't sympathetic to me. He literally, and when Alex says girl. She's like, playground. Yeah, yeah, like seven. Yeah. All right, he just goes to a playground. There's a girl on the slide. Yeah. And as she gets to the bottom of the slide, he just picks her up, takes her to his cave.
what would have made that like sensible or good is um, Joan Crawford's daughter is like a, is like a blonde girl. If he had a relationship or like some kind of something going on with that blonde girl, yeah, and then escaped and was like, hey, there's like she looks a bit like her. I'll I'll duck this one. No, see, I that would make a degree of sense. Yeah, it would have done. It would come. It yeah. would have come from somewhere, not just. For me, I would have had the girl being picked on by somebody. Yeah. So Trog takes her. To save yeah. her from being picked on, you yeah. know, and then everybody else has a misunderstanding of, oh my God, Trog's kidnapped this yeah. girl. And we're not even smart. No. But we could have, like... We're not good scriptwriters. We probably wouldn't make a good scriptwriter, but you yeah. can see how... We could work with Trog. Yeah. If they cut out a lot of the science -y stuff mm -hmm. and it was just Trog on the loose it would be much much better yeah I think any a film like this you kind of want to see a monster kill people in an interesting way that's what you're watching it and for, you want like, to see like bad acting and... yeah the yeah the hammy costumes and yeah, yeah. The, that guy just running around like yeah. and don't get me the wrong the acting this is pretty bad you know Michael Goh doesn't really like he's a very one note character he's just like Trog's really dangerous yeah, it's have unbelievable. To get rid of Trog. they have um there's a courtroom scene there's two courtroom scenes which is just filmed in a room Anytime somebody says something, Michael goes just like, "Yo, you should kill Trog." Yeah, and then the, the judge is like, "You know, cut him down, or I'll find you in contempt." And he's like, "Okay, it's kill like... Trog." It's a waste of taxpayers' money, Mr. Murdoch. I caution you for the last time not to interrupt these proceedings. Thank you. I'm pleased to report, sir, that as a result of our experiments and a successful operation, we have been able to endow Trog with the power of speech. So the monster speaks. We don't really get who that guy is. He's like he's definitely like the antagonist guy. Like who's the real monster? It's that guy because yeah. he wants to kill Trog. He's he's like made out to be some kind of real estate developer, and he can't get houses built because Trog's there. Yeah, which doesn't make any sense and it's never really explained. Yeah, well, I guess people just don't want to move into an area with Trog. Yeah, so his character doesn't really make any but sense. But for good reason, because Trog is like a murderer. That, like I said, that's the fundamental tension in the film. They want you to think Trog's like a civilized or could be civilized, and then he's also a murderer. Yeah, and it's like you need to pick a lane. Now that Trog has learned how to talk, we're trying to teach him new words every day. He will soon be able to articulate his memories, and then the entire world will learn the baffling secrets of evolution. It's a scheme to milk us dry, to make a sacred cow out of a murdering monster. What did you think of the costume design? It was bad, definitely. I get what they were going for, because the idea was that he was the missing link. So mm. he was like, he was halfway between a, an ape and halfway between a man. So what they seemed to think was appropriate to do was to get like an ape mask, put some long hair on it and stick it on a fat guy, give it a loincloth and like some deer It was articulated. Slippers. In um, the mouth. Yeah. So um, the face could do things and stuff. And it definitely like it was okay. But when did the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy television show come out? 70s? I yes, in the 70s. Like mid -70s so same or sort or of so. era. And think about yeah. Zaphod Beeblebrox in that, you know, where it's just like a paper mache head that... Yeah. You know, so maybe at the time it wasn't as laughable as it is now. I mean, they got Joan Crawford and they probably paid her quite a bit, so it definitely had a budget to it. It's all your fault. I heard Mr. Murdoch at the public inquiry. He was right. He wanted to do away with your monster then, but you wouldn't let him. If anything happens to my little girl... Please, I'm madam, not... come on now. We're doing everything we can. Um, she was a lonely lady. She was a lonely old lady by that stage and she just kind of wanted something to do, which is yeah. why she was involved in it. Which I can understand. She probably didn't read the script initially because mm. if she had she read the script, she might not have taken it. Well, I doubt she was getting that many offers. No, exactly. She burned a lot of bridges. Yeah. It's sad, isn't it, the way your life can turn out? It's really sad because... Like, one of the first movies that we watched doing our best picture it's thing... The Grand Hotel. ...was The Grand Hotel. Yeah. We didn't do a video on it because it was before we were... And she is, YouTube stars, yeah. She is so pretty in that. Yeah. Who are, who are you, please? I'm a stenographer. Well, then, uh, you will please wait outside, please. Yes, sir. And yeah. then I watched Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, which came out, like, eight oh, years oh, before oh, Trog. Yeah. She's a really capable actress. Yeah. And then you see her in this, and it's just like, oh, God, like, that story must be horrendous. I mean, I know there's the movie. Mummy Dearest. Her. Yeah, Mummy Dearest well. and stuff. But obviously, that's. Allegedly, elements yeah. of that are exaggerated yeah. or, you know, misremembered. And the prime objective of our program will be to gradually pull Trog across a time span right into the heart of the 20th century. It sounds like an impossible task. <laughs> it's the same we must try. It's our sacred as well as scientific duty to study this creature with complete dedication. 
It goes through the cyclical thing as well. It starts in a cave and ends in a cave in the same cave. Yeah. So it's like, oh, back where they started, but something's changed. Mm. So in, in that sense, it's a bit like Midnight Cowboy, you know, <laughs> but not quite as good. Trog not could, quite as good, yeah. Trog could probably be like a gigolo. There's definitely someone who's Definitely that would be, it, yeah. There's some people who are like, go on, go on, Dave, put on the monkey mask. True. I wouldn't imagine they would have like a lot of clients, but no. those clients would pay well. If it was socially acceptable, like, I don't know what I would fuck. You know, <laughs> do you know, like if 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 it was like you can fuck whatever you want, like no what if, if it was if it, it was made socially acceptable now, or if it had always been socially acceptable? Let's say it was um, if it if it had always been. Because then yeah, still I mean, like, there's no limit, is there? Because no, it would just exactly. be normal. I don't know. I think I'd just stick with women. You know, I don't think I'd like deviate. I'm not like well. Yeah, but like I don't like see a dragon. I'm but like, like hey. one day you'd get really drunk, wouldn't you? And like, there's no women about, but yeah. there is this gorilla. Woman. I don't think I would ever be drunk enough. I don't know, like, if it was like that, that thing from the Rescue Rangers, the the, the, the sexy female mouse, so, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Why are we not talking about trog barriers? Is it because it's not really interesting to talk about? Is that what, is that what you think Yeah, there's not here? much to say. It's not, um... No. As far as bad movies go, it's not... As a bad movie, would you recommend trog? Definitely. Oh. I, I would definitely thumbs up. Oh. You thumbs down on no, trog? No, trog suck. I wouldn't show trog to anyone. Really? Anyone trog? Doesn't feel right either way to do a thumbs down, does it? Like, it's a weird wrist movement. Yeah. You know? Like, thumbs up feels okay, but a thumbs down, like, you can't do it that way because your arm don't go that Yeah. Way. It's a fundamental flaw in the thumbs up, thumbs down system. Mm. So, Trog? Down. Thumbs down. Thumbs down for Trog. Whoa. I would, then. Okay. That's going to be a meandering one, isn't it? Yeah. I would just, like, not even edit that back. I'd just throw it up <laughs> in the boss. <laughs> I can't end it on that. Oh. So Trog and you just go, no. <laughs> yeah, I can. Fuck it. Every night I bring her Frank for the sandwiches Frank for the sandwiches How oh, my baby loves her Frank for the sandwiches Frank for the sandwiches I try to win her with candy Candy Ice cream and custard, but how she likes hot dog with mustard. <laughs>